This will be the only video for today, obviously. Like I told you guys last week, going to take it a bit easier this week. Take a little bit of time off. Went and played golf this morning. Not sure what tomorrow or the rest of the week is going to look like. I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys at some point. If I'm at home, I just can't allow myself to relax. But let's go ahead and get into this. I guess he thinks that we can't read. I guess he thinks we're deaf. Maybe he thinks that we all have a short memory. Perhaps he even thinks we're stupid. Could be a combination of all four. The reasoning, though, the reasoning does not matter because the mainstream media career of Chris Light, it could be on life support. This is the holiday season. This is the time we're all supposed to be happy, full of cheer. I can't get through an NBA game without hearing it's the most wonderful time of the year. Definitely is for me. My life is going well. Wake up in a great mood every morning. But unfortunately for Chris Light, he might be getting a pink slip in his stocking for Christmas. With it being the holiday season, I wasn't expecting to have to eulogize another media career. And look, look, I doubt that we're going to have to eulogize the mainstream media career of Chris Light before Christmas. I'm exaggerating a bit here, but mark my words. It's coming. I want to feel bad for the guy, but I just can't do it. I can't give my sympathy to someone who insults my intelligence. Chris Light was given the impossible task of saving the modern Titanic known as CNN. Former viewers, they are sitting in the middle of the Atlantic watching this sick, uh, ship rapidly sink. Chris Light, he is on board with a thimble, desperately scooping water off the ship. But his efforts are in vain. He's like a flea on an elephant's ass. We have covered the attempts of Chris Light trying to save CNN extensively here on the channel. How many times have you heard me say they are trying to move CNN more towards the center? How many times have I said that? I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 20? Now, I didn't say that because it was my hope for CNN. I didn't pull those words out of my ass and repeat it because I thought it sounded good. The idea that CNN was moving towards the middle, it came straight from the facial orifice of Chris Light or from his bosses. Back in February, Discovery CEO David Zosloff, which Discovery owns CNN, he told Axios that he hired Chris Light to run CNN with the intent of him dialing back the woke bullshit. He wanted to restore respect and credibility to the network. During a conference call in April, Zoslov said CNN was moving in the direction of being journalism first and removing the partisan politics. John Malone, the largest Discovery stockholder, he told the New York Times back in August he wanted CNN to be more centrist. Centrist. Center. Middle. That's important to remember. It wasn't just words. Chris Light, he put this plan into action. He fired the donut diva Brian Stelter. My sources tell me Brian Stelter, he is now teaching home ec at Harvard, demonstrating to aspiring shit fucks how to properly use the donut. He fired the professional wanker spanker Lubin Jeffrey Tubin. John Harwood, gone. Can't forget about America's favorite fruit, the lemon. Chris Light was stuck in a bind with Don Lemon. Couldn't fire Donnie. Donnie identifies with too many marginalized groups. They moved him from prime time to mornings, calling it a reassignment. Kind of like Jada Pinkett Smith called her affair with August Alsina an entanglement. Yeah, entanglement. That's Hollywood speak for we were fucking. Donnie brought his struggling primetime ratings with him to morning television. But like I shared with you guys over the weekend, Chris Light thinks morning lemonade is refreshing, a massive success for my struggling network. There has been a lot of media reaction to Chris Light's interview with Kara Swisher last week. Chris Light, he wants you to know he's real, real mad. Oh, I'm feeling like a bitter bitch. People are misunderstanding me. There is this misconception that I wanted to move CNN towards the center. That's bullshit, I tell you. That is propaganda. Huh. Huh. I, I wonder why we thought this. Could it be? That's what you fucking told us? Earlier this week, Chris Light, he was interviewed by the Financial Times. During the interview, he completely reversed course while also speaking out of both sides of his ass. I have to give him credit 
Chris Light, he is a multi-talented birthing person. I am quoting him verbatim. You have to be compelling. You have to have an edge. In many cases, you take a side, but either way, you don't see it through a lens of left or right. Um, I'm a bit confused here. You just said it's bullshit that you want CNN to be centrist. Then you follow up in the same statement with, you don't see it through a lens of left or right? Um, I'm no Kamala Harris. I'm not an expert in politics. But if you don't see issues through the lens of left or right, wouldn't that be the center? The same direction you claim to be going all year then immediately reversed course? I understand why CNN is reversing course. Their ratings absolutely suck. Check out this ratings graph from last week. Now, these ratings are for cable news only, so don't get excited when you see CNN finally making the top 50. This network sucks so bad, they can't even make the top 30 in cable news. It is absolutely unacceptable, pathetic, that Anderson Cooper and the rest of the CNN primetime lineup was beaten by a rerun of Tucker Carlson at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, and shout out to my boy Chrissy Cuomo, coming in strong at number 66. Great job, Chrissy. I'll be sure to put a vibrating cigar in your Christmas stocking. But a couple of things to unpack here. Number one, there is this belief that a centrist cable news network will never draw ratings. Now granted, a news network dedicated to just reporting the news, that will probably be a huge embarrassing failure. But moving your ideology towards the center doesn't mean you have to be boring. Doesn't mean you have to lack an edge. When CNN announced they were trying to be centrist, I took that as meaning we're no longer tag teaming the cucumber. The truth is, we don't know if a centrist cable news network will succeed because we've never been given one. I have no idea if it would work or if it wouldn't, but it was at least worth the effort. Most of the country, straight down the middle. We're not hard right, we're not pregnant men, we're just normal people. I have a hard time believing a cable news network dedicated to the majority of the population would struggle to draw an audience. But number two, CNN never moved towards the center. They never became a centrist network. They talked a good game, they virtue signaled by firing old white dudes, but they never fully committed to the process. Like I told you before, if CNN was truly dedicated to eradicating the fungus, they had to start from within. Producers, staffers, assistants, hell, the secretary, accountants. Removing a couple of on-air personalities, that wasn't going to be enough. When doctors are fighting cancer, they don't remove 25% of the tumor. They remove the whole thing. Now, this is pure speculation on my part, but here's what I think happened. Initially, I think Chris Light, I think he was serious about removing the shit fronts from CNN. I don't think he expected so much resistance, so much backlash. I don't think he expected anonymous wanker spankers to run to the mainstream media revealing the discontent behind the scenes. A couple of months go by with this supposedly new and improved CNN, and ratings are declining on the already declining ratings. Chris Light, he just wasn't strong enough to see it through. Or he didn't have the support. Probably a combination of both. I do know this. CNN wasted absolutely no time diving right back into the filthy woke pond. Monday night, former New York City police detective Tom Verney, he was the guest on some CNN show no one watches. They were talking about the shooting in Colorado. You know the shooting, the one the media claims has proved that America is systemically homophobic. Remember the Rachel Richardson story when the media jumped to the conclusion before all the facts were known and immediately claimed it was mythical racism? Remember that? They did the same thing with this, the shooting in Colorado. Because it happened at a gay nightclub, the media automatically assumed that this was a hate crime. As it turns out, the shooter identifies as non-binary. I think they consider non-binary to be the Q category, the questioning category. I don't know. If that's the case, this was actually a case of Q on G crime. Alphabet turning on its own. As you guys know, those pesky facts, though, they are not allowed to get in the way of pushing the agenda. Listen to crime fighter Tom Verney explain why this happened. Roll the film. You know, as, as he just mentioned, so we, here's, here's a breaking news. Uh, we live in a racist, sexist, homophobic, Islamophobic, anti-Semitic country. 
This is stuff that is learned behavior, passed down through generations. And unless we address that root issue, that and upon itself, everything stems from that. Let me get this straight. The country who's created more black millionaires than any other country in the world is racist. The country who has given political asylum to thousands of Muslim immigrants, even after 9-11, is Islamophobic. The country where women had the opportunity to become CEOs, run their own businesses. The country where a minority woman is the vice president. That same country is sexist. Last but not least, the country where members of the LGBT community have more rights and privileges than anywhere else in the world. That same country is homophobic. If Tom Bernie thinks America is evil, there's a simple solution to the problem. Get the hell out. Not one person on that panel pushed back against the propaganda. Not one. If I'm not mistaken, that was fuck knuckle Frank Lunt sitting beside him, captain of the bum squad, every emotional support goat's dream. He sat there silently, smiling like a squirrel chomping on a set of nuts. This is the reason CNN's got no credibility. Over the last several months, CNN had toned down the propaganda. They really had, but it didn't take them any time at all to return right back to the bullshit. This network's dead. It's dead. Discovery is cutting costs at a rapid rate. There is no such thing as too big to fail in the television industry. Now, I'm not saying that CNN is at risk of going off the air tomorrow, but if ratings don't drastically improve, wouldn't shock me if they did. Well, let me know what you think. Chris Light reverses course once ratings decline. Do you think it was the right call? Is there any chance of survival at CNN? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.